Hi there, I'm Kevin Newell here for TotalFisherman.com and today we're going to talk about winter fishing conditions. It's getting to be November coming on December and icing of your rods and fishing in cold weather is just a, a daily occurrence down, out here in Washington and Oregon and it definitely gets colder as you go east. I'm going to show you a couple tricks to help alleviate some of those problems because we don't want a day of frustration, we want a day of fun and fishing in cold weather is hard enough as it is, we don't need additional problems. So let me show you a couple different ways that we have of applying material to the guides of the rods to keep them from icing up as bad. You're still going to have uh, some problems. You're never going to be able to get completely away from it, but uh, this will hopefully help you at least enjoy your day on the water more. First is rain -X. This is the stuff that goes on car windshields and uh, helps slough off a lot of the rain and, and uh, water from the road. You can get it at your local hardware store, your local Shucks Automotive. You just take and get a rag, or paper towel, shake it up a little bit. This kind, think of this as a wax. This is a real slick water repellent. Load up Got to open the package first. Load up the rag pretty well with it. Okay, normally you can just squirt some on there and close that back up. Get into the guides of the rod and go like this. Keep in mind getting it all wet. You need to let it dry for a little while. Okay, after it dries, just pretend maybe a couple minutes has passed, a minute. You can blow on it a little bit, that'll help. After it dries, come in and you remove the excess. Okay, and what that does is that creates a super slick wax covered surface and that will help repel the water off of there. So the water doesn't freeze up because the water's not there. That's the whole concept behind using Rain-X. Okay, you do it on each and every one of your guides. It's paying extra attention to the very tip top guide because if, that, if you can get this tip top guide to shed as much water as possible, the rest of these guides aren't going to fill up nearly as bad. Okay. The next one we have is good old standby WD-40. Okay. I definitely prefer some other methods other than WD-40, but a lot of times this is what you have in your tackle box already. This is what you have in, in the truck and it's cheap and it works well. You're out here on the river, you just Give a couple squirts like that or just put some on the rag and again apply it if you're wondering if it's in there just smush it around with your finger a little bit wd-40 stands for water displacement 40 again that's displacing the water similar to the rain x it's, which is a wax but this is a, a lubricant and for those that didn't know that wd stands for water displacement uh, the next Vaseline works great. You can get in these little tubs. Okay, get a little on your finger. A little seems to go a long ways. Get it down in here. Again, this this creates a layer of protection that keeps water from adhering to the guides. Vaseline is petroleum based. So, it, being a petroleum product, it also sheds water. Another technique that you can use that's very similar is Carmex. You can keep this in your pocket. It has a really nice applicator. Get a little bit of Carmex on your finger. Like so. You know, stick it on there. Smush it around. Do all of them. And you can always put the extra on your lips. I always carry chapstick with me in the winter time. Nothing worse than have a ble having a bleeding mouth because cold, dry winter weather. Okay, the last one that I like to use, but the one that I like the most, let me rephrase that. The last one that I'm going to show you, but the one that I like to use the most is Pam Nonstick Cooking Spray in Original Scent. It's easy to apply. Just squirt like that. Squirt, squirt, squirt. 
and you're good to go. You can fish for quite a while with it. It's cheap. Again, it's an oil product. It's made with canola oil. It's biodegradable. It's not going to hurt the environment. And it's, it's pretty cheap. You can get the off-brand of this for $1.99 a can. And for, as far as value goes, you get a lot for what you pay. Uh, it's six ounces here for $2.99. The other one's on the shelf for $1.99 for six or, or even seven ounces. The normal way of fishing in the wintertime, cast, cast, cast. Dip the rod in the, rod in the water, shake the, line, uh, shake the ice off. Cast, 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 dip the rod in the water, shake the ice off. But you're not going to get much out of it. It's not going to last very long. And oftentimes people are tempted to, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're icing up and come over here and break the ice out of the rod guides with, with your fingers. The problem with that is, is if you're not careful, and especially if you're wearing gloves, it's difficult to get your fingers down in there. You might risk snapping the rod or you might risk snapping the guides off. And nobody wants that. And that gets expensive and it, and it makes for a bad day. One other <clears throat> trick in the wintertime, use monofilament. It doesn't hold water like braided line does, and you can always apply a uh, fly line floating to it. Here in the Northwest, oftentimes we're fishing floats, fishing floats or fishing bobbers, and you want this line to be able to float, that way you can mend it properly. Well, braided line floats really high. It's great for that. The problem is with braided line is it holds water and you wind up with a big ice cube down here in the reel. So go back, change some of your float rods out to monofilament, put some fly line dressing on here, and you'll be back in business. So again, hope that helps you guys. Tight lines, hope you catch a lot of fish. Hope you have a great winter. Thanks for joining us.